Here's an answer to an interesting little problem that I saw on a forum with a different CAD system of how to take a rectangular section of material and create a flat pattern of it where the top is cut away with a dish or a bowl or a sphere. So what I've actually done here is set up a, a little experiment where I've got my sphere that crosses over the top of my pipe and what I need to do is to cut that pipe according to the sphere and then roll it out to create my flat pattern. So how do we do that? So I've created my, my tube as a base contour flange and that has a gap such that we can unfold this. If I just do a quick unfold here we can see we've got a regular rectangle section. So the first thing we need to do is to run to the curves and find the intersection curve between the sphere surface and I'm going to pick the single face, the inside, and create my intersection curve on the inside. And then we're going to use that curve to cut away the top material uh, according to that curve. Now if I go straight ahead with normal cutout and select a 3D curve and pick this curve, I'm going to hit a problem whereas the section must be closed. So we've got to do a little bit of preparation work first. And the way we do that is to create a, a few lines just to complete and join up this section around the faces of the part. So I'm going to create my first curve there, my second curve to there, and then I'm going to create an arc, three point arc. I'm going to start on one point there, end on one point there, pick a point, a third point on the edge, which is point on curve. Okay, and then what we've done here, we've completed our sketch line, our intersection curve, and up around the top here. And now it's a simple case of generating the normal cutout from 3D curve. Pick the curve and the top of our cylinder is cut away using normal cutout. So the thickness edge of our sheet material um, is perpendicular to the flat face. Now when we create our unbend we generate the correct shape for that tube interface.